When Elias Brotberger goes to work, he doesn't need ID. And he doesn't need money. In fact, much of what he needs to get through the day is hidden right there, just below the surface, in his hand. Do you like to touch it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's yeah. like a grain of rice. Yeah, a grain of rice. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. Yeah, it's all in chips. So I use it like to get around the building. Buy snacks. Yeah, exactly. Let's buy some snacks. Exactly. So I can't open it. No. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to first blip my chip and it will log me in. Mm -hmm. And from there I get access to the fridge. Popular TV shows like Black Mirror have imagined chips as part of a dystopian future. Install ingrained procedure with local anesthetic and you're good to go. In Sweden, the microchips are already here. The microchip implants use the same technology that's in contactless credit cards. Which have made cash pretty much obsolete in Sweden. No cash. At this tech fair, a chipping event for those on the cutting edge, merging their hands with this new technology. I thought it would be fun, right? The process is simple and swift. A pinch of the skin, and in a matter of seconds, the chip is inserted. The transformation is complete. As for the pain... I barely felt it. But even in this nation of early adopters, not everyone is racing to get chipped. I feel less human. I will feel like a robot. I think, I mean, it's so much more data can go into this, you know, when it's in your body. There's no central registry tracking how many people are chipped, but biohacker Hannes Wellblood estimates between five and 10,000. In the future, do you think everyone is going to be chipped? I think it will be voluntary, but I am certainly convinced that millions of people will find it very, very valuable to have a smart device under their skin. Human microchipping may be our future, but in Sweden, it's already reality. Sarah Harmon, NBC News, Stockholm.